What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we're gonna be going over my Epiphone Matt Hafey Custom, the original seven string, with a nice little mod and upgrade I put into it. And we're gonna be also going over the Epiphone Matt Hafey Origin Series. Let's hop right into it. So, version one, I'm gonna go over the differences right now. Very similar and aesthetically, minus the hardware. Um, the original pickups in this were the EMG 707s and 8107, which I put in Matt Hafey's signature Fishman set. This guitar doesn't have the push-pull voicings, minus it only has the kill switch. Um, upgrade I put into this also, which the stock looking tuners look original. They're not, they're actually Godot locking because I wanted to get the seven string origins at one point, but then I was like, you know what? I want to keep the seven string original just so I can have one of each, one original and then one version two. So the neck profile is significantly thicker on the original series, which if you have big hands like I do, it might be a little more comfortable for you. Also the access heel joint on the back is the original access, what they were trying to copy with Gibson's access series, which has this nice mountain type of carve that goes up and then version two actually let's flip this over so we can see a little aesthetic difference here so the diamond for the custom logo looks a little bit different on the newer one right off the bat you get gold hardware versus black hardware uh the nut i think is different plastic versus i want to say graphite maybe i could be wrong about that i'm not 100 percent sure on that they're both ebony fretboards so version two, Matt's signature pickup. All four pots. So you have single coil passive. For the bridge, same thing for the neck. Uh, gold hardware, obviously, versus black hardware. No longer have the poker chip, which you would see on the original, which I think it looks cleaner without that, honestly. It looks nicer this way. So over here to the neck profile, it's significantly thinner. It's much lighter. Now, if we flip it backwards, the first thing we're gonna notice is Matt Hafey's signature on the back of the headstock, Grover lock and tuners versus the Godo, which I modded. Now, if we go down, this is the neck. So the back heel joint's a little bit different. Looks more like a traditional Les Paul with that axis joint over here, which is a little different. So if we flip version one backwards again, it's gonna look a little bit different versus this. You've got this little bevel piece right here, like a traditional Les Paul, which you don't have on the Axis one. Also another difference, which is the strap buttons, which are very cool because it's kind of like a strap lock safety feature. So when you put the strap on, you can actually turn this and it actually locks the strap in place so that way you don't drop the guitar. That is a very big selling point for me. And I don't know why that was never a standard industry for most guitars. Um, but otherwise, the other big difference between the two guitars is the weight. This one's a little bit heavier because it's more of a solid body. I think this one's weight relieved, but it feels very, very comfortable. The neck profile on this one kind of reminds me of a Jackson Soloist. It's very small, very thin, very fast. Has a very flat radius fingerboard. I think it's a 12 to 16. I could be wrong about that, but it's super flat. I just finished setting up this guitar. I'm running 10 to 46 Diodario NYXL strings, and that's it. It comes with a case also with Matt's signature on it.